A National Development Ministry review says there was no misuse of public funds in the sale of PAP Town Council software to a company called Action Information Management, or AIM. It also says residents' interests were not compromised. You'll recall the Prime Minister called for the review in January in the interest of transparency. The MND report also recommends that the government consider a strategic review of town councils. The National Development Ministry's team was tasked to review the AIM transaction thoroughly and to study if the town council framework can be improved. In a letter, the ministry's permanent secretary, Benny Lim, said that an important point was raised about whether there was a conflict of interest because AIM was a PAP company. The report found that town councils were set up for and fulfil a political purpose. It emphasised that freedom has always been given to the MPs across parties to employ or appoint those who share their political agenda. So just by the fact that AIM was a PAP-owned entity was not an issue. But the review team had to determine if a conflict of interest could have arisen if a particular town council member had a direct interest in the AIM transaction, whether residents' interests were compromised, or whether there was any misuse of public funds. The review team found that AIM did not make a profit. Its directors were not paid any fees. The company, in fact, sustained a loss during a one-year sale and lease-back arrangement of the computing software. The PAP town councils complied with the open tender process under the Town Councils Act, where five vendors expressed interest, but in the end, only one bid was received from AIM. That is all right, as long as the town council is satisfied that the bid met tender requirements. The report added that the PAP town councils had acted in good faith in the interests and for the benefit of their residents. So it concluded that the transaction fulfilled and complied with the Town Council Act and the Town Council financial rules, a point supported by independent audits of the 14 PAP town councils over the period. On the wider review of town councils, the ministry says it exercises a light touch in terms of its regulatory approach on town councils, so that MPs have flexibility in running their estates so as to be directly accountable to residents. But it observed that the political nature of town councils, which is to enable elected MPs to be accountable to voters for the running of their estate, raises a constant risk of politicizing the council's administration. And this may not always lead to outcomes beneficial to the interests of residents. One area that merits studies at the team is in ensuring the continuity of services for residents. For example, during a handover when there's a change of MPs from different political parties. Now, while it's understandable that MPs would want to hand over and take over as soon as possible, it will take time for the proper handover of things like documents, records and even systems. Hence, the report recommends a timely and comprehensive review of town councils to meet the needs and aspirations of residents.